These beautiful images are transforming how scientists conduct research. They are part of a new digital library showcasing more than 18,000 3D models of animals. They were made possible through the Open Vertebrate Project, or OVERT for short. The OVERT Project aims to help scientists and the public learn more about the natural world. The project gives them access to digital models of specimens in natural history museum collections. Natural history museums were first established hundreds of years ago. They hold vast collections of animal specimens that have been gathered at different stages of life from different places and at different times of year. Scientists study these specimens for many reasons, like investigating how animals evolve. This kind of information means museum collections are incredibly valuable. Unfortunately, some specimens are old and fragile. Each time they are touched and studied, they risk being damaged. This is one of the reasons why the OVERT project is so important. It allows scientists to study specimens without handling them, which helps preserve them. And there's another advantage. It gives scientists an inside look into the animals. 3D models are made using CT scans, also known as CAT scans. CT scans are usually performed in hospitals to create images of the inside of a patient's body. These images help doctors diagnose the patient. For the OVERT project, CT scans created 2D images of animals, which were then compiled together to build 3D models. Only vertebrates were scanned. These are animals with a backbone, like mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and fish. The 3D models show both the inside and outside of the vertebrates, including bones and soft tissue like skin, muscles, ligaments, and tendons. But sometimes, extra features are observed, like this turtle and its last meal. The detail in these images has enabled scientists to make unexpected discoveries. For example, that the tails of spiny mice are covered in scales, just like an armadillo's shell. The OVERT project is not just for scientists. It's also being used by teachers, students, and even artists, no matter where they are in the world. It's helping bring natural history museums into a new era of discovery, giving everybody access to their vast collections with the click of a mouse. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly update.